So I go in the extra room and the terrorists have got the TV at stereo max volume because there's fucking bodies in here. A heinous fucking uh, bomb equipment and uh, body chopping equipment. And, and I go in there, the stereo system and the way they have this uh, instructed and taught to them to function, they're hell bent on pushing by the behavior and, and not ever relenting. Uh, it's now a, hold on, these mufflers here are fucking out of control. Let me just plug this ear. I got the sound machine on. No, there's no help or hope here when it comes to law enforcement or the fucking chaos, horrible noise here. I fucking absolutely hate you, DC. All right. So I go in there and, um, there are, there is the max stereo and the phone is so hacked. I'm really, really, really resentful about that. You, no matter what I try, it just, oh, and I was a survivor here and I, I witnessed the most insane, traumatizing, I don't have a lot of words. I just use the ones I remember. Um, scary uh, volumes of TVs and scary, traumatizing. Another muffler. Now they know what they're doing here. Let me just keep this ear plugged. I might have to just plug both ears, folks. It really went better when I did that. They know what they're doing here. They're proud. They drive down the road. Vroom, vroom, one after the next. This shit's so loud. No mother would fucking stroll her baby around here. No. Oh, God, no. No, she'd want to protect her kid. Not walk around somewhere like this. This is fucking so serious here with the vehicle traffic. Oh my God, I don't have anything to prove like that. You could just go in the corner and fucking see that shit. And you're you're like, you would, a normal person doesn't lie to the world. Would be like, no, there's serious problems here. Like, what, what's, what's going on? Like, whoa, anybody would say that. Whoa. Yeah, and you would look around and wonder, why are you strolling a baby buggy? This is fucking horrible. Um, this is impossible unless I plug both my ears. To stay focused here with the fucking heinous, horrible terrorists and noises. I'm tired. Do you hear how tired I am? I'm just trying to make a point. You can't unless I want to plug both of my ears. You really can't, dude. It's that fucking bad. I'm so tired. No, I don't believe law enforcement will come in here. The agents or any of them. No, I have no reason to believe that. I hold on to hope. Yeah. No, I'm basically trying to figure out how I'm going to do this on my own because anyone who is sane has no reason to believe the fucking military is getting in here. No. I, I need to plug both my ears. This Hold on. Let's just do this like this, all right? I'm not making a pot shot at the good people who save my life and make it so I can sleep and, and, and make it so these bombs don't go off when they buzz and stuff. I've heard them beep and buzz. And they know that. If anyone knows it, they know it more than anyone else. I absolutely do not believe you will ever get into this terrorist cell. I have no fucking reason in the sky and the moon to think that. Just to this very last fucking few minutes, which I'm trying to say, but I couldn't until I plugged my damn ears here. The stereo is at max volume. It's like being in a movie theater. She's back at it, or one of them is. The house is so fucking cold. You go into my room, it's freezing. You go in the hallway, it's a reason it's jet black they're back at it and they're doing this behavior like you can't stop us and we're gonna show you and they just turn the shit back up loud and chop those bodies up man yeah dude and that is what they're doing okay and ain't nobody stopping them they're right the thing is though i can i can physically stop this female and the male the male He's scary, but if I get him the right way and I cuff him, oh, fuck yeah, he's mine, man. I take one of his arms and, and make it immobile, he's mine. And I can get him the right way where I can cuff him and take him down, he's mine. Same with her, she's no struggle. I can fucking take her and cuff her in fucking five minutes. No, no cops or military doubt that with me. I know that. That's why I'm talking to you guys and gals on, on a level here. But what do I do with them once I cuff them? 
Because you're not coming in. And I know that. And I'm not yelling at you about it. I'm going to have two terrorists in here cornered somewhere and drag them to a corner. At least I stopped them from chopping bodies up. Accomplicing murders. I don't think they're carrying murders out, but you are their agents. You know that. What do I do with two fucking violent Muslim terrorists once I cuff them and no law enforcement's coming? What do I do? Because this got to stop. Once I get them cuffed or out of the picture, um, I'm free to just do whatever I want here by means of um, ripping into the floor, stopping these little doors and cubby holes, uh, blocking it all, and, and basically shutting down the entries and the exits here, filming it, collecting evidence. As far as the male, he hides a lot out of sight. I could get upstairs, film, collect evidence, not to worry about him chasing me around. Who I could tackle and take down and cuff. But to avoid that conflict, it's her that I think is up there the most. And what do I do? I mean, she's no problem. Take her down and cuff her. Okay, she's not fucking chopping bodies up or doing heinous, violent crimes anymore. Good. Some, finally, someone fucking cuffed her. But what do I do? You can't take her nowhere. The, the, she's with these cops in this town. I know that. What do I do? I guess put her in a corner and we wait for you? When the fuck is that ever going to happen? Yeah. I don't know. So I think this is what I think. Okay, fuck it. Let them run free like they are. <clears throat> carrying out violent, heinous fucking crimes whenever they want. Keeping me traumatized. Blasting the, the stereos and chopping bodies up. This is way more than I can take anymore, dude. And then just go upstairs and film this shit and collect evidence. Because as soon as I fucking do that. The U.S. cooping military can't not function here anymore. They can't um, shut it down for like four weeks like they wanted and then bring more in from that base that I won't mention, that U.S. base, and keep this going for another year like they hoped. They can't. And like, I'm already in here. So yeah, I'm in here. Good. I don't got to wait for you. I'm in here. I mean, this is an upside. I'm already in here. But what do I do? So I, I guess I'll just pray. Ask for guidance. Yeah? Because I don't know what to do. But if they don't stop these two chopping up bodies, chasing me around, uh, it just, just the shit I'm witnessing in here is fucking unfucking believable. I'm going to cuff both of them. And I guess I'll drag their asses to a corner and leave them there. Yeah, where they can't commit violent crimes anymore. Somebody had to do it. Um, as far as who I believe is the female terrorist, we're back to running around like an animal. Every time I go into my extra room, a terrorist starts jumping around like an animal. This is not exaggeration. And they're barefoot. And once they're done jumping around, God knows what they're doing up there. They start sprinting up and down the hallway, opening up the closet door, getting into the crackling stuff, plotting, planning more heinous, violent crimes. Okay, this has to come to a fucking end here. I guess, I guess I'll cuff them, go collect the evidence, live film all the shit, live film it. Don't forget, I got the live film. I'm filming it all. It's more evidence. I don't need to tell the top cops that stuff. And then finally somebody did it because this has to stop and I'm sharing my honest heart with you. But don't take me as literally doing it. I'm not making any plans to put them both under cuffs. I've, 
I have no problem physically cuffing them. I am very confident in that. The male, it's questionable because when he's hopped up and hyped up on all the meth, I'm not trying to get into conflict with a fucking creep like that. But when he's jonesing and drug sick, dude, bring it. It's just, I just want them to stop cutting up bodies here. Stop making fucking bombs. Um, I'm thinking, how do I do that? Is cuffing them my only option? I'll fucking cuff them. And I'll put them in a corner because I'm not going to kill them. I want you to question them. I want you to interrogate them. They know way too much to let this slip away. I'll keep them right here for you on a little shelf. I'll feed them breadcrumbs. All right, but I'm not saying I'm going to touch them. I'm not saying I'm even going to speak to them. I'm just saying I'm going to pray to God. I don't know what to do. There's a bomb fucking stockpile under my floor. How do you think I feel? This has to stop, dude. All right, bye.